we're over here at Coyote Canyon. We was looking off that shelf up there. And we've seen that some people threw some junk off. Right now, Bill's picking up some bolts he found. And this is what we found here. It is like a swing and a slide. Still good. Might be able to use it for something. Um, there's pipe there. I wonder if I can make a thing for the chicken to slide down. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But anyway, um, here's some stuff. But what we're after is that chain on this. There's chain there. There's some more. Found a piece of wood. Some more chain. We can use that chain. So we're just going to scrap it and try to figure out what we can do with it. People come over here. Uh, back up to that ditch. Throw their stuff over. One time we found a whole track. A truckload of bags of leaves where they backed up and just dumped their bags over. We come down here and got it. This is a pretty area. What happens? They come, big old flood comes through here and it just washes all this away and takes it down into the desert. And they bring stuff across here and use it for target practice and uh so they shoot from across the way and but somebody dumped out all mattresses no other doing that for be hard to shoot anyway everybody's looking around for our treasures we did find treasure i don't know what we could use this ladder for might be able to use it for something is that off the swing? Yeah, it's all the bolts and, uh, you know, yeah? sleeves. Y'all loves it out here. She's got her working nose on. Uh oh, she's gonna sneak on the tiger. Do some sneaking. Oh. <laughs> they love coming over here. He wants that stick. Good boy. <laughs> yeah. He had to get that stick. We just seen, and we never noticed it before, that there's a drill hole there. And then there's one there. drill hole there. I don't know what that was about. Oh, could be. Here they come. <laughs> Run, tiger. Tiger. Here, here he is. Oh, yeah, that's a good hiking stick. Yeah. They're pretty strong. Bill found another one. This is so pretty back here. Yeah, this is the, the oh yeah. Holes in it. See them holes? Indians take sticks and rub them. Start fire with these things. Yeah. Get them hot and get them burning. We come through here riding horses. 
right over there. It's the uh, best way to get up with the horses. One time, long time ago, we come through here and some of this stuff was kind of quick sandy. she can climb that. Shows you how powerful this creek is when they can wash them rocks like that down and push them. We're going to go up this little ditch line, see if we can't find a way up. We thought we could get through there, but too much mesquite. So we're going to walk down that way. That should take us up. Well, we found a place to get up. I'm, I'm glad we got our hiking sticks. Well, Tuli's down that way. She don't hear you. Tuna. There she comes. Tuna, come on. Tuna, come on. <laughs> she don't want to climb that. Come on. Tuna, Tuna, come on. Okay. Come on. Come on. There you go. My turn. Now we'll just pick our way through here. I don't know if we'll find a trail or not. It's a windy day. We're going to follow this little ditch out to, back to the creek. It was so windy up there I couldn't take any pictures or videos. The wind's not hardly blowing through here. Pretty easy walking too. Yeah, we're gonna check this mound out and see what what this is. Yeah, look like they tried to dam it up so this drainage ditch. A little bit more. It'll warm up during the day. Might be a bunch of little scorpion holes. Yeah. Scorpion places to live. Yeah. Alright, come on, we're going. Tiger. 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 Well, we found the cow trail. Goes down to the creek. Uh, plant that I'm looking at right there is, is called Mormon tea. Uh, it's good for a lot of different things. The Indians used it sometimes. They would carry it and it, uh, and then they would take pieces of it and put it in their mouth and suck on it and it uh, relieved their thirst a little bit. They, they cover long distances out here with that and, and other things too. And it's a medicinal plant. Uh, it's, uh, I forget all the things that it's used for, you'd have to look it up. Uh, we've collected it before and washed it real good and then boiled it and it makes a strong tea. Uh, it's a little bit like uh, if you've ever had a persimmon, <laughs> what it's like to put a, uh, pull a persimmon off the tree and put it in your mouth. It kind of puckers you up a little bit, numbs you. Uh, numbs you a little bit too. It's, uh, there's a lot of different uses for it, but it's, it grows a lot out here in the, in, uh, up in elevation in the foothills a little bit. And uh, I don't know if anything that eats it, cows might sample it, but we've really never seen any evidence for sure of it. But it grows a lot out here in the foothills. 
There she goes. She's gonna fall down. Bell. She about fell in the ditch. My gosh. Oh. How are you gonna get up? Here she comes. Well, she did a good job. <laughs> she did a good job. She's a hiker. It's easy for her to go through this brush. We, looks like we just found some kind of marker. I don't know what it was. There's a big long board over there. Maybe. Well, they wired it down. I don't know what it was. These old boards like this will last for years and years and years out here in this dry climate. They will. They, they won't hardly rot at all. It's too dry. It takes a long time for them to rot down. There's the humidity is so low and there's very few termites. Well they had a long board out here for some reason. It might have been part of a marker. Survey marker. Yeah. Maybe they had it up in the air up high. Yeah. So you can see it. Yeah.